how do you bring all this back? Hmm. That That's always a question. <laughs> I look. Well, Ken, you know, Ken and I were talking when, when I first went to do the incubators thing. When I had just the Motown idea, one of the assignments they had asked if they were still doing it yeah. was that you had to have a friend on call for like about 45 minutes each day at a certain time to debrief what you were <laughs> learning while you were there. So you might take a list. I was thinking about this earlier. You might take that list of three people I had that like who would be your greatest allies in your church life. If you were going to go and do this. And think about getting them a cup of coffee or something else in the next three to five days. Um, and maybe they've got a better sense of where to go with it or what you would need to do um, at, at that level. Um, or even ask them how they might build on the idea, yeah. too. Because then they become co-collaborators in your, in your dream, right? Yeah. I, my instinct is the same. In the same way, talking about your idea kind of got something that you didn't know that was inside of you out on the table. Having conversations with key par partners, you know, will do the same. Yeah, when I first started, I didn't want to tell the church about Motown because I was worried somebody would want to kill it. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, it's been a struggle now to actually try to get it out in front because I've, I've so habitually developed a habit of keeping it <laughs> somewhat on the side. Um, but. But what happened was, was that also allowed it to spread like wildfire through other networks within the church. Rather than making an announcement about it, the people who were interested talked and found other people who were interested. Mm -hmm. And so in a lot of ways, what it did was it selected key people who wanted to engage with it much faster, I think, in some ways than a typical announcement would. Mm -hmm. um, and things. So, so it, you might be surprised. They may say, I'm not sure yet. And then they go talk about it with somebody over coffee who is sure. Um, who really does want to see it happen, or has like, oh, that would be good, except we might think about this. So, 